Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now, about a week ago, I unboxed this Dell Ultrabook. This is the Inspiron 14Z. And I promised you regular updates. Well, this is the first update, and it's just to let you know how I got on with installing Windows 8. Now, before I give you a close-up of Windows 8 on this laptop, I just want to let you know how the install process went. And it wasn't all smooth. It was partly my fault because of my lack of experience, but also partly Windows 8 fault and partly the fault of the Inspiron 14Z as well because I couldn't find out the right information I needed. So I'll let you know what I did. I downloaded the consumer preview of Windows 8. I put it on one of those little tiny USB 3 flash drives, plugged it into the side, rebooted from the USB drive, and it wouldn't see the internal hard drive on here. So I couldn't select a volume to install Windows 8 onto. Ah, very frustrating. So what I did was I rebooted the machine, tried it a few times, still no go. So then I thought, let's try installing it from Windows 7. Now I'm used to using Mac OS 10, so I thought maybe I could just double click on the installer and it would install it from the Windows 7 interface. When I was in Windows 7, I double clicked on it, went to install, told it to not save any of my settings, so I thought I was gonna get a fresh, clean install of Windows 8. It would go through the complete process, so I'd sit back and wait for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. It would go all the way up to uh, 99, 100% and look as though it had completed. It would restart the laptop, and then it would say, we've been unable to uh, install Windows 8, we've left your laptop as it was before, and it would then boot into Windows 7, so it hadn't changed anything. Very frustrating. I couldn't work out why, when I booted from that USB drive, that it wouldn't see my internal hard drives. And then I realized this has got something, I think it's called Smart Start Technology or some weird acronym they've used, which enables the laptop to start up super quick. And it's got an mSATA drive in here. So I went into the BIOS settings and I found that I could set it to um, uh, SATA or AHCI, some weird setting, and turn off the Smart Technology. And then when I rebooted, uh, using the USB drive, it saw the internal drives and I could choose to install it either on the 32 gigabyte SATA drive in here or onto the 5400 RPM two and a half inch hard drive. So that's what I ended up doing. I ended up creating a partition on the hard drive. So I've got a dual boot system now and I can boot into Windows 8 or Windows 7. So let's give you a closer look. So I've put this at a slight angle just so that you can get a good look at the screen. It's a very reflective screen on the Inspiron 14Z. I uh, hope you can see it okay. But this is what I was greeted with, apart from a few extra installations I've done on the Windows 8 interface. And it's pretty good. I'm quite pleased with how it's uh, sort of working so far. Now I can scroll across to the side here and keep on moving and then it shows you some of the other bits I've installed. Um, I'll go over these in a separate video, but I've installed some extra applications. I've got some shortcuts here for the uh, Internet Explorer for my sort of web browsing. And then I've got also my live update uh, tab here, which shows you what emails I've got coming in. And this sort of reflects what I've been used to using on the Windows phone platform. So we've got this familiar tile interface. Now we can obviously jump back to the desktop at any time, so I can go into sort of desktop mode, and then I can hit my Windows button, or I can in fact go on the side here and then get back to the start, sort of the tiled start interface via this sort of, um, I think they call this a, a ribbon or something, I can't even think what this is called, but it actually invokes this little overlay menu, and I can search, share, uh, go back to start, look at devices or settings. So that's really good. Uh, one of the things I was gonna try early on on this was I jumped into Internet Explorer and I went into my YouTube channel and when I was in the YouTube channel, I wanted to see if I could do an upload. Now I store all of my videos on YouTube um, via the NAS that I have in a different room and it would not see the NAS drive from Internet Explorer on the Metro app. So that was a bit of a fail. What I had to do was install Google Chrome and then use that via the desktop uh, just down here 
and then I could see the NAS drive, so a little bit of a hiccup there. I also liked having a look in the store. The store hasn't got loads in yet. You can see it's a little bit of a lag there, um, but the store overall is really nice. It's presented nicely, and again, I can scroll across and have a look at the other apps. I tend to use keyboard shortcuts for scrolling across because it doesn't like work with the trackpad quite as I'd want it to, but overall, it's a really nice experience and it's very well laid out at the store. Let's have a look at new releases. Now, this is a preview, don't forget as well, so there's gonna be a lot more in here when it's readily available. Uh, but you can find all of the different applications that are available. If you wanna install one, such as this Join Me app, you just click on it, it gives you some more information about it, and then you can install it, simple as that. Also gives you some previews of screenshots you can see what the application's going to look like. And Join Me is actually one of the apps I'm going to actually try. So it all works really well and it's quite fluid. As I say, a few minor hiccups with how Windows 8's working. One of the things I don't like is I've got no multi-touch gestures on the trackpad, so I can't uh, scroll across smoothly. It's all like jerky when I scroll across and I have to move all the way back across here with my arrow and I can scroll back this way or I can just use the keyboard shortcuts which seems to be a better way of doing things. Uh, SkyDrive's quite nice as well. If I go into SkyDrive this is their sort of cloud application and here I've got a document I've already saved to SkyDrive where I was testing out Word and, and again it works really nicely. I can update that application on this laptop and then if I had a Windows 8 desktop machine, I could access that same SkyDrive document from there. So really pleased as to how the actual performance on Windows 8 Consumer Preview is um, and just really enjoying it. I will say that it's getting uh, hard for me to really slag Windows 8 off all the time. And the reason I say that is people know me from a Mac background, but I'm really determined to actually try this good and proper. A big apology, a correction actually, from earlier. I was calling this consumer preview. This is actually release preview. So do bear that in mind. This is so, so close to being ready. And it's gonna actually be launching around about October 26th. So I'm looking forward to installing the proper version on here. I will get an upgrade for £14.99, I think it is. Uh, so super cheap to upgrade to the actual uh, full retail uh, package of uh, Windows 8. I will be doing another video as well and just be running through some of the applications that I've installed here. So do stay tuned for that in about a week's time on the Geek Noise channel. So that's it for this video. Loving the Inspiron 14Z. Loving Windows 8 so far. It's a real new experience for me. If you've got any tips, leave them in the comments section below. Please do give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one.